I'm the CEO of Validsoft, a company that was formed in 2003, and um, we're uh, an emerging leading uh, provider of security solutions that are telecommunications based. That's the hallmark of what we do. And in essence, what we try to do anyway is to secure all transaction channels uh, using leading edge telecommunications uh, solutions. And as you can imagine, when you're dealing with that and doing the sort of correlations that we do between you know, transactions and individuals to their cell phone or mobile phone, that that type of data is immensely important uh, and valuable data, uh, and particularly present, uh, preventing certain types of financial fraud. Um, so, for example, if you know for, for or to a degree of, of uh, statistical certainty that a person is close to the transaction that's occurring, and you can actually um, use technology to be able to give that degree of certainty, you can imagine that that's a very, very useful tool uh, for banks today. And in fact, the solution that Validsoft has that received the, the European Privacy Seal is a solution called Valid Pause. And what Valid Pause does is it uh, correlates the origination of a transaction either at the ATM or the point of sale with the person through their cell phone. And um, as we started out on this track um, several years ago and we were looking at the ability to pull uh, different channels of information together to provide uh, data quality or good data quality back, back to banks, uh, particularly that's where the, the initial opportunity came from, um, we discovered a, a number of si significant issues that, and hurdles that we had to come across. In fact, they caused us to stop the uh, penetration of the marketplace with our products. That's how serious it was. And uh, the part of the problem that we were looking at was the, the technologies such as geolocationing or geopositioning last long, uh, and trying to use those technologies to correlate back to the origination point of a transaction. Uh, and we found several fundamental problems with that. Not so much on the privacy side yet, but more to do with the technologies themselves. Uh, so, for example, they're too slow. If you're dealing with a... Um, uh, a card issuing bank, they have about 500 milliseconds when they have to either uh, approve or decline a transaction. And I wouldn't say there's anybody in this room here who probably hasn't been in the position whereby a card transaction that they were trying to carry out abroad or whatever has been declined. And it's quite a traumatic uh, uh, issue, uh, issue when that arises. In fact, it's the number two complaint that banks received uh, in 2010 was that you declined my transaction when I was either at you know, an important meeting or I was trying to book into a hotel or whatever and then I couldn't get hold of people to resolve the situation. So it's a pretty significant issue. Uh, the problem for banks is that when they think they have a fraudulent transaction, they get it wrong nine times out of 10. That's a false positive 90%, and that's the industry average across the world. Um, we sat down and we redesigned from the ground up, and we built privacy by design into our solutions to the extent that we overcome all the, the, the hurdles that were associated with traditional technologies like geopositioning. We invented what we call proximity correlation logic. It's very rapid, it's about 400 milliseconds. It's completely anonymous. So we actually don't need to know where you are. All we need to know that there are correlations that exist between physical devices such as ATMs or point of sales with, for example, um, network segments such as you know, MSC codes or whatever. And those correlations are there and then they can be used for authentication purposes. 